Unlocking the potential. Using passive voice with can. Hello there, language learners. Today, we're diving deep into an interesting and versatile grammatical construct. The passive voice with can. Specifically, we're going to focus on how to talk about possibility in the passive voice. As always, we will explain this concept with clear examples to make your learning journey easier. Let's get started. To begin with, can is a modal verb. It's used to express a range of meanings including ability, permission, and possibility. When can is used in the passive voice, it expresses the idea that something is possible to be done. Here's a simple example. Active voice. You can complete this task. Passive voice. This task can be completed. Notice how the focus in the passive voice is on the task, not on who is doing it. Now let's look at how we can use can in the passive voice to talk about possibility. This usage is very common and useful in everyday language. Take a look at these examples. 1. The book can be found in the library. 2. The test can be passed with good preparation. 3. The food can be ordered from this restaurant. Each of these sentences expresses the possibility of an action being completed, without specifying who is going to do it. Now it's your turn to practice. Try to convert these sentences from active to passive voice, focusing on the possibility. 1. You can buy fresh vegetables from the market. 2. They can repair your car at the garage. 3. We can finish the project by Friday. Take your time to think about your answers. And remember, practice is the key to master any language concept. And there we have it. You've now learned how to use the passive voice with kin to talk about possibilities. This tool can help make your English sound more fluent and natural. Remember to keep practicing what you've learned, as it will become easier with time. We hope this video has been informative and helpful. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Happy learning!